So, did you skip Captain Marvel? Good for you! Here's what you'll need to know about Cap what happens in Captain Marvel for Endgame. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. The uh, basic premise of this movie is, serves, serves is to show how powerful Carol is. Nothing, no mention of Thanos. The uh, Tesseract is in it. But as you see in uh, Avengers and Captain America and all that, the Tesseract has been on Earth for a while. So, no big deal. Shows how S.H.I.E.L.D. got it. So, big whoopity do. Who cares? And, yeah. If you've seen episode 7 of Star Wars, uh, Force Awakens, you know how Rey instantly grabs the lightsaber from Kylo, who's pulling it with the Force, and then kicks his ass? That's going to be Brie, or Captain Marvel, and Thanos. She is going to be his kryptonite, because the way she can handle her powers without any kind of training with them, she removes her security bolt thing that's been keeping her powers locked, and she goes all supernova with no kind of training whatsoever, and she wins a day. So that's all you need to know about for uh, Captain for Infin the Endgame. There is really no purpose for Iron Man, Captain America, Ant Man, Hawkeye, uh, Shuri. I think her name is the the lady from Black Panther, Black Widow. War Machine, for anybody... There's no purpose in anybody being in that film except for Captain Marvel, really. Because once she's there, unless he changes something because she gets her power from... Oh, well, she gets her power from the Tesseract. So unless he, like, can take her power from her, there's really no purpose for any of the other characters to be there. Because she's just that powerful. And, you know... With all, the, with all them working together, with only it was the Guardians, Iron Man, Spider-Man, and Doctor Strange working together, they were able to take him down until Peter screwed up. So with the main, with the original six plus War Machine and Ant-Man, they probably would be able to beat him without her help. But she comes to help because that is the end credit scene for this movie. It is just another like Captain, like Winter Soldier. She, they showed you, not Winter Soldier, Ant-Man, they showed you a scene from Winter Soldier. This movie, they showed you a scene from Endgame. It's just them having her pager plugged in that Nick Fury pushed, and then she shows up and looks and says, where's Fury? So they show you how she met. The other one is they showed a cat throwing at the Tesseract. And that wasn't in the version I watched. Those two scenes, I had to get, get them off of YouTube. But still. Uh, so that's all you need to know. Captain Marvel is overpowered. And she got her powers from the Tesseract. Have a good one.